Pretty much every machine will have gears either in its transmission or as a means to generate special movements in mechanisms. Gears and gear trains can be easily added and manipulated in MD Pro. This video will show you how to add and edit gears. Before you add gears, your model needs some elements to be added, and understanding what is meant by kinematic defined will help you model gears and mechanisms in MD Pro. So I will explain with the following animation. So start with a base part and add a line. The mechanism has zero degrees of freedom. Now add a part and it has three degrees of freedom. A pin joint will take away two, leaving one degree of freedom. Add a motion dimension, taking away the last degree of freedom, leaving zero. The green parts have zero and the blue have one or more degrees of freedom. Anything that is green is kinematically defined. Generally, you don't need to worry about this. You can add parts and joints in any order you like. After you add each joint or part, MD Pro will try and compose the mechanisms into dyads which have zero degrees of freedom. If it succeeds, they will turn green. If not, they remain blue. However, your model needs four attributes before you can begin to build them. A green kinematically defined line with zero degrees of freedom, a blue undefined line with one degree of freedom, any line joining the previous lines, a dimension defining the length of the linking line, this is the gear pair center distance, and pin joints must share the same coordinates as the linking line. So now I will set up a simple gear pair to demonstrate. First I will add three lines. The linking line is the one we need to dimension. Then create a zero degree of freedom rocker by adding a part pinned to ground and driven by a motion dimension. And finally, a part just pinned at the other end. These two parts will carry the gear wheels. OK, just add a clock to drive the motion dimension at constant speed. And now add the gear pair. Green line, blue line, linking line, dimension, and then OK, and the gear pair will be drawn. Now the blue part goes green as it is now kinematically defined and if we look in the kinematics tab on the left we can see the gear pair has been composed as a dyad. If you want to edit elements in MD Pro then double click on them in the graphic area and usually an editing form will come up. With gear pairs there is a lot you can edit, main items being tooth count and module. The center distance will change to suit the parameters you want because the gear pair controls it. You cannot edit it directly. I have shown how to add and edit gear pairs in this video. In the next video I am going to show you how to use forces.